guys, we are back. Good evening, good morning, or good afternoon. As always, you know, it's so great to see you. And guys, today we're going to be talking about GoPro accessories. Now, you may recall earlier this year, I did a video on the best GoPro accessories for the Hero 8. Well, since that video was released, GoPro came out with the Hero 9. Now, guys, I've been using the Hero 9 quite extensively, especially during my photography truck and adventures. I've also been using a wide range of GoPro accessories with the Hero 9. So I figured it's time to refresh this video or this GoPro top accessory video. As you're gonna see here in a moment, some of the accessories I use with my Hero 9 are the same ones that I use with my Hero 8 and well, technically I've used for the seven and six as well. But guys, there are also some new kids on the block. But before we dive into all that, I do wanna tell you all how much I appreciate you stopping by and checking out this video. If you've already subscribed, thank you very much. If you haven't yet clicked on that subscribe button, I hope that you'll consider doing that in the future. Subscribing will allow you to keep tabs on all our latest videos, and it's one of the things that you need to do to qualify to win our monthly contest. In fact, we just kicked off the newest contest, so if you wanna get in on that fun, subscribe now. Now with that out of the way, pull up a seat and let's go. dozens, probably more like hundreds of accessories for the GoPro Hero 9. Guys, my list includes the top nine accessories that I've been using in the field and that I have found to be the most helpful. I think you're going to find them helpful as well. So without further ado, let's dive into this list. The GoPro Media Mod. Now back when GoPro released the Hero 8, one of the biggest headlines was the new Media Mod. And guys, I thought this was one of the best GoPro accessories for the Hero 8, and it is still a great accessory for the Hero 9. Now the Hero 9, or excuse me, the Media Mod has two cold shoe mounts, one on the top and one over on the side here. Now these enable you to add additional accessories like the GoPro Light Mod or an external mic. Now when you flip it over on the back, the first port right here is a 3.5 millimeter jack. So you can use an external mic like I do and you can do so quite easily. Now before the media mod came out, you had to use a very expensive uh, 3.5 millimeter adapter to use an external mic. So for me, this right here was one of the best things GoPro could have added to the media mod. Now the built-in mic inside the media mod, it's okay and it could be used during a pinch, but guys, I like to have the higher quality audio that I get from using something like a Rode Video Micro, but more on that in a bit. So back to the media mod, up in the top right here, you have an HDMI port so you can quickly review footage that you've shot by adding on like a field monitor of some sort. Now there are a ton of third party accessories that you can add to this thing as well. And guys, when you look at this here, it really has a great design as well. It, it fits snugly onto the Hero 9 and it feels really like it's part of the camera rather than an add-on and it really doesn't add that much weight or bulk. So you can extend the functionality of your Hero 9 without losing the portability of the camera. Rode Video Micro. Now the micro on the media mod is a lot better than the mics GoPro has put into their cameras in the past, but still it doesn't compete with a external mic, particularly the one that I like to use the most is the Rode Video Micro. Now, I've been a Rode fan for, for years and have used their mics in all kinds of settings, including right here in the studio. I've often said that making high quality video content really depends as much on the quality of the audio as it does the quality of the video. And with the Rode, you get really clear, precise audio that's gonna match the beautiful 4K video that you're gonna get out of your Hero 9 that I'm now holding upside down. <laughs> But you get the point. Now, in addition to providing top-notch audio, this mic, as you can see here, is super small and portable. Just what you want for your GoPro setup. It's made of aluminum, so it's feather light and yet very durable. Now, let's get this, pull this part off right here. Now, when you pull the dead cat off here, you can get a little bit more sense of what you're looking at here. The suspension here is made of hard plastic and that is very light and it works beautifully to reduce the noise from the vibrations as you film. Now it's also a directional mic so you get crystal clear audio of your subject without all the ambient noise in the area messing up your audio quality. Now I've used this mic in the desert, beach, mountains, you name it, and it has been a beast and such a reliable workhorse. And to add this onto your media mod, it is as simple as, oops, open 
put this up here. Slide it on and boom, as you can see, that really fits really nice. You don't want to put it up on the top here because then, especially if you have the dead cat on it, you're going to catch it in your field of view there. Next, a dual charger. Now on the GoPro Hero 9, you can actually charge the battery on board using the USB-C cable. Now the downside of this is that you can only charge one battery at a time. Thus, the need for a dual battery charger. Now I don't need to tell you, having multiple batteries for your GoPro is a absolute must. Even though the GoPro Hero 9 batteries last far longer than what you got out of the Hero 8. But the last thing you want is to be running out of juice. So with that being said, being able to charge two batteries or more at once is a huge bonus. Fortunately, dual battery chargers are pretty cheap. For example, I use the GoPro dual charger. This thing was $49.99, and it actually came with an additional battery as well. This means I can be shooting with one battery while the other two are charging, so I always have battery power readily available. $50 is a little steep for you. A quick search on Amazon will reveal tons of GoPro Hero 9 chargers, some of which will actually charge up to three batteries at once. Next, a battery pack. You don't just need spare batteries and a dual charger, you also should have a battery pack or two for on-the-go charging. Now that I'm spending about one week and a month out camping and overlanding, the need for a battery pack is even higher than before. Now granted, my Turtleback trailer has a solar-powered system with dual batteries and all sorts of stuff on board there, and that's great for charging GoPro batteries and whatever else I want to charge as well, but it's still nice to have that battery pack as a backup power source. Now, just like the GoPro batteries and chargers, there are a million options for battery packs. I've had this 32,000 uh, charger from uh, RAV Power for some time, so I can charge my GoPro Hero 9 batteries and still have plenty of power left over. Now, this particular battery pack has three outlets, so I can charge multiple batteries at the same time to speed things up. And guys, I also recently picked up by the same company, RAV Power, a 20,000. Next, something to provide a stable base. Now, Obviously, one of the really cool things about GoPros is you can mount these things on just about anything. The handlebars on your bike, the helmet that you're wearing, the hood in your car, and so much more. But sometimes you need a traditional base to support the camera. For that, I use the GoPro Shorty Mini extension pole and tripod. And guys, when I first got this thing, I wasn't really impressed with it. I mean, it's got some great features. For example, it's a tripod, a selfie stick, all in a very small portable package. It does have a nice grip as well and works great as a handle. It isn't too big or bulky like other GoPro tripods that I've tried either. But what initially threw me off about this is it felt a little cheap. However, as I used it more, I really like it. It is lightweight, it's portable, it serves multiple purposes, and has a lot of utility to it. What's not to like about that? However, there have been times where I needed just a little bit different type of a support for the GoPro. For example, I need to film myself from multiple angles, like walk or biking down a trail. For that, I put my GoPro Hero 9, 8 or whatever, on a Octopad. Now, I've talked about Octopad before, but if you haven't been introduced to this, well, it's a great little accessory. It's pretty much a canvas donut filled with sand, and as you can see, it has this quarter 20 bolt right in the middle of the sink for attaching all kind of accessories. Your GoPro, your 360 camera, a light, a microphone, just to name a few. At the bottom, it has this rubber-like base, so it holds its position really well. Now, a while back, I used this uh, with my GoPro Hero 8 as a dash cam when I was off-roading. Guys, this thing stayed in place perfectly. Now the Octopad can be used with a smartphone, compact camera, even a small mirrorless camera as well. So brings a lot of functionality to the table. And the best part about this thing, guys, it is super inexpensive. It's only $25, or it's just a little bit less than $25. And I seem to remember not too long ago, this one was on sale for like 16 bucks. That was a steal. Mount. There are a couple different types of mounts that I like to use with my Hero 9. The first is the good old fashioned GoPro suction cup mount. Actually, I have three of these things sitting around here someplace. Now this thing is so handy to have. I find myself using this most often for filming time lapse as I drive from one location to another with my photography treks and adventures. And it's also rated to 150 mile an hour, which is way faster than my aerodynamically challenged Jeep can go, <laughs> especially pulling a trailer. So it provides steady rock solid support for my GoPro. That way I don't have to worry about it flying off my Jeep and erupting into a million pieces down the highway. I use a small rig clamp to mount my 
my Hero 9 in places where the suction cup simply is not going to work. On the front bumper of my truck, underneath the truck, on the trailer, under the trailer, on rails. Now most recently, I used this clamp on the front of a pontoon boat and attached it on the front of my truck's bumper for filming B-roll for our next photography trek and adventures. And guys, what I'm doing is I'm just simply screwing a pole that actually came with my Insta360X, but I suppose any poll on Amazon is really going to work for this and do the same thing. The moral of the story is they have multiple options for mounting your GoPro, whether it's a tripod, octopad, suction cup, clamp, or something in between. GoPro Hero Lite. Now one of the accessories that you can use with the media mod is the, well, as you can see me, popping this on there is the GoPro light mod. Now I'm a little bit of a light snob, so I admit I wasn't really expecting much out of this little mod when I first picked this thing up. However, it has proved to be a great addition to my GoPro setup. It's compact as you can see, and it is super powerful. Don't let the size fool you here. Uh, there are four different levels of brightness with this thing, and it can put up to 2000 or excuse me, 200 lumens. Oops, let me shut this off so we don't blind you. <laughs> It can put up to 200 lumens, but it can also be dimmed all the way down to just simply 20 lumens if you don't need that much light. It also has a built-in rechargeable battery, and this thing is waterproof down to 33 feet and has a CRI of 90 plus. Now, this can even be used as a standalone light with a GoPro mount, which makes this light hugely versatile in all kinds of shooting situations. Next, Polar Pro filters. Polar Pro filters. Guys, I've raved about Polar Pro filters in the past. These guys make some of the highest quality filters that I have used, and now, well, they have a filter pack for the Hero 9. Now, the Shutter Collection has three neutral density filters. You have the ND8, which is actually on the camera right now. You have a 16, and you have the 32. Now, guys, these filters are ideal for shooting in bright conditions when you want to be able to reduce the shutter speed for a beautiful cinematic look to your videos. Now, Polar Pro doesn't mess around when it comes to engineering and building their products. These filters have a CineSeries glass 16 layers of coatings, so they are spot on when it comes to things like reducing glare, resisting fingerprints, and being scratch resistant, and also providing you with hyper neutral results. And since these filters were made specifically for the Hero 9, they fit perfectly, much like the Medium on. So they feel like they're actually part of the camera rather than an added accessory. And if you've not changed these before, it is a little bit of a trick to pull them off. Well, not really. What you want to do is kind of pull and twist counterclockwise, and that is it. So pull and twist counterclockwise and just you know, to put it back on, just go the opposite. As you can see there, this thing fits really incredible onto the camera itself. Next, Hex Ranger Mini. Obviously, all the accessories that I've talked about share something in common with the Hero 9, and that is they're all small and portable. So even if you have a big GoPro kit like I do, a normal size camera bag is still going to be way too big. But the Hex Ranger Mini right here, this sling bag is the perfect size to carrying around all my GoPro stuff. It's small and lightweight, so it's really easy to carry, yet this thing will hold 2.5 liters of gear. Now there is an interior divider here, and this is going to help you keep all your GoPro accessories organized, but the dividers also collapse for those occasions when you want to carry something larger or you need to pack the bag down for portability. Now on the outside is 900D poly with water resistant coating, and this is going to help keep your gear dry. The bag also has side adjustment load straps and also on the bottom here you have adjustable uh, carrying straps down here. You have a grab handle and you have YKK zippers. Inside is a front access organizer, hidden velcro stash pockets for small items, and a fox fur lined pocket right up here on the front for sunglasses or your phone or well whatever you wanted to go sticking up in there. And like the full-size Ranger sling, this one feels really great as you carry it. It really hugs your body so it isn't moving around as you walk, but still you get easy access to all your gear simply by rotating the bag forward. And like many accessories I've discussed in this video, this bag is inexpensive. It's just $70, so this thing is not going to break the bank. Now that you know all about my favorite GoPro Hero 9 accessories, let's shift gears and talk about our current giveaway. Here are the prizes this time around. F-Stop Dalston Backpack, a Wander Dual Day Pack, and of course the $100 Adorama gift card. Now, entering the giveaway is really simple. Step 1, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Step 2, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on the 
the more chances that you have to win. So get watching some of our other videos and leave some comments. Step three, register on Photography Talk and introduce yourself in the form. Now, if you did register on the site and introduce yourself during one of the last giveaways, you're still eligible to win this time. But as I keep saying, swing on by, say hi, and let us know what you're doing. We'd love to see you. Friend, that is it. For complete details on the giveaway, including how to register on Photography Talk and how to say hello in the form, check out the description below. Good luck. Well, there you go, guys. That was fun putting this video together here for you. If you found some value, if you were entertained, do all that YouTube stuff right now. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and smash kick that bell to be notified each time that we come out with a video. All right, my friend, I'm gonna be jumping out of here. You stay healthy and create your best shot.